Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you can see here, I am in our master bedroom and you guys, it is in much need of a makeover. It has gone neglected long enough, so I am so excited to get this started. Uh, you guys, make sure you stay tuned, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. So the first thing that I wanted to tackle in our master bedroom was the wall behind our bed. Uh, I really felt like the room needed maybe a little more personality. Uh, so I have been really into dark moody colors lately. Uh, so I thought it'd be really nice to go ahead and give this a wall uh, a nice dark embossed wallpaper uh, that I purchased from Amazon. Uh, and don't worry you guys, I'll have a link down below so that if you are interested, feel free to click the link and it'll take you right to the wallpaper that I purchased. Uh, and the application of it was super easy. Uh, it's adhesive, so it was just peeled and stick. Super, super easy to do. So as you can see, all you have to do is Peel the paper off of the back and I did it only a little bit at a time it kind of helped me to make sure that the wallpaper was lined up as perfect as possible uh, and so as I peeled the paper off the back I rubbed out any air bubbles that I may have seen and I have a textured wall so I made sure to take my time and press as firmly as possible that way the wallpaper stuck Once I got down to the baseboard, all I needed to use was a box cutter to cut off any excess wallpaper. So the biggest project that I decided to take on in this bedroom was this window seat. Uh, if you can tell, it is very shallow and very uncomfortable to sit on as is. So one of the main things that I wanted to do in here was to extend it. This was by far one of my more extensive projects, but I was so excited to get it started. So what I decided to do to extend out the window seat was to build a frame. Uh, I did remove the baseboard and window sill that was already existing there. And I decided to build on to what was already there. Um, building the frame for the window seat, all I used was two by sixes. And as you can see, I just made a super long rectangle and I decided to apply it to the beams already in the wall. So here I'm just creating pocket holes within the frame and I use those pocket holes to secure the frame to the wall. Using these two by sixes essentially gave me an additional six inches on this window sill 
so that now when I sit on it, I didn't uh, hang off the ledge. I actually have room to relax. So this window seat is actually really pretty long. It is over 10 feet long. And if you know anything about purchasing lumber, it's really hard to find one sheet of plywood over 10, uh, over eight feet. Uh, so I actually had to use two pieces of 10 by 12s uh, and I actually glued them together uh, that, that actually gave me the landing that I needed to uh, install onto this window seat. And then once I had the top portion of it clamped in place, I used my brad nailer and then I secured it as much as possible. And then I used uh, pre-cuts of plywood to cover the front of the frame. And you guys, this was the final product. After just a few simple changes, I am so excited with the way that it came together. Uh, as you can see with the window seat, I really just cleaned it up with some really pretty detail. I even took time to rehab our dresser, which was in much need of help actually shared on my Instagram uh, what just a nice can of paint can do to revive uh, furniture. So I did repaint it and I installed those really pretty gold handles. Uh, and again, you guys, if you have any questions about the items that you see here, I have linked them below uh, and you can also find them on my Instagram. I did also remove the fan and replaced it with this chandelier. Uh, I thought it was so pretty and the angles were so detailed. I really feel like it fit the personality now that this room has. Also decided to change our nightstands. I found these gorgeous ones at Home Depot. Uh, I did decide to change out the hardware on it and oh my gosh, it looks so good together. So you guys, as you can see, I did pan back over the light again because it's probably another favorite part of my room. Uh, and I wanted you guys to see what it looks like when those lights are on. I got some really beautiful daylight bulbs. And oh my gosh, you guys, the light that flows through this room is just wonderful.
you guys i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and remember you can follow my instagram account below for the most current projects that i am working on and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe i will see you guys in the next video bye